Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Sims 4 Cottage Living. Now today is going to be a Dream Home Decorator day. <laughs> now, it seems as though, um, based on like, I'm a very analytical person, so based on the analytics of the uh, videos that we were doing, like one episode Dream Home Decorator, the next episode a Cottage Living, instead of switching off each day, um, they, those seem to do a little bit better. So, from here on out until the end of the series, we are going to be doing one episode each pack. So, today is the Dream Home Decorator day, and did I get him a gig? I'm so smart, because I did. <laughs> okay, so Thursday, today is uh, Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., uh, let's see about our crops, see if we need to do all that. So, I um, have been playing The Sims in my own free time, and I turned off aging. Okay, maybe I didn't. <laughs> um, I think I turned off aging um, for just current households, uh, but either way, as you saw, we only have four days till we age up, so I think after this um, this guy gets his paycheck and then we'll just sell all of the crops that we have in our inventory um and everything that we get for the next you know the next harvest of everything we're going to bulldoze our lot and see how much money we get and hopefully we'll be able to move that to that bigger lot because we are running out of time i still want to have at least maybe one or two children um and i still want to get another cow shed i want to get another chicken coop um that sort of thing so we are definitely on a little bit of time crunch, I kind of forgot that we have to, you know, worry about aging. But let me actually see. Um, auto-played, unplayed, played. Well, either way, I turned it off for some of my other free play things, so I thought it was turned off here. But I guess it wasn't. And I don't really mind that, because, um, you know, it's the natural psycho. Um, so it really doesn't interfere with our plans too, too much. It just means that we might be struggling a little bit more than I would hope we would. So, and that's okay. That is completely fine. It's the, it's the fun of the Sims. I think I'm just gonna go and send them to bed, uh, after they do a couple of things, like chores, and get their fun up, even though it's already all the way up. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, so everybody's awake, and ignore the fact that they're sad because of a holiday. I canceled uh, Harvest Fest because <laughs> I didn't feel like dealing with it, so ignore the fact that they're going to be sad for the rest of the day. And oh, they're ready to hatch! Okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know if we have time before our gig. It's 9 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, 9 o'clock Thursday. So we do have time, as long as you're fast in the shower. Um, which one's ready to hatch? Ready to hatch? Hatch egg. Yay! Oh, I love this. I literally love this whole process of hatching eggs. It is so fun. I am telling you, this pack is everything I've ever wanted and more. <laughs> I am literally telling you. Uh, okay. No need to go through all your crops, but... Oh, so sweet! Um, okay. Clean coop, please, and if you can, collect eggs. Um, you go and just get dressed, and then we'll wait for your gig. Um, what's the weather like right now? So let's go ahead and put on our cold weather. Um, and I hate how that goes invisible, but let's go and watch the news. Sure. A good old 8 a.m. morning news. The best way to start off your day and lose all faith in humanity. Honey aged up. <gasps> Oh, shysta! No! So old! Oh, I'm so sorry, baby! Oh, no! Okay, we definitely need to pay a lot more attention to Honey, because we have definitely been slacking on that, to say the very least. And, ooh, gnomes to sell! <laughs> and, um, we need to give her um, as much as att attention as we possibly can, or else I'm gonna feel super bad. That she didn't live the life that she should have for that. And no, I don't want to sell that, actually. Okay. 30 bucks. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and have you tend to garden while we're away. So go ahead and just go inside. Um, I'm actually going to have you watch the news. And then I'm going to have you pay attention to Honey Bear. Oh, so sad. Oh, I should not have added a dog into this Let's Play. I just wanted to see if they reacted to any of the um, farm animals, and they do, and 
Oh, we, we have to go to work, okay? Um, and they do, and that's all I wanted to see, but now I feel bad because we're really neglecting her because we have so much other things to take care of. And I'm gonna go ahead and also speed this process up. Like, I'll show you their interests, and then I'll show you a little bit of the process of building because without doing that, this video, like, the videos are so long and it's so hard to cut down, so... That's basically my plan with this gig, so I'll just, at the end, after I discover all their interests, show you, and then I'll show you a little bit of the build. And then obviously I'll show you the end product, but that's that. Alright, they like photography, painting, and patio. So, what room is this again? Level renovation. So, they are going to have a full-on level of patio furniture, painting, and photography. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do go ahead and do upstairs. Let's go ahead and send them away real quick. Uh, send client away. There we go. Um. So, okay, so there are three people here. So that's the adequate number of bedrooms. So I don't want to turn a bedroom to a weird studio. So I guess we kind of have to do it downstairs in the living room, don't we? Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a before photo. Um, they literally did not tell me any colors, just hobbies. So I'm going to keep almost everything the same. <laughs> and then just change a little bit of the front. What do they have all in here? So I obviously want to keep the karaoke machine. That that's kind of their thing, you know? So let's see what photography has to offer us. Um, I also installed the machino pack. I'm really happy with it so far i'm loving it but up 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 so i'm gonna add a, just a camera into there a nice little one there apparently this also counts so what if i just put a security camera right there i, I really don't want to but i kind of want to at the same time okay no i won't i won't and maybe they're like vintage so they like uh i don't know put that like I need move objects on. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now they could, like, place it, like, right next to that. Ooh, that's a lot of our budget gone. All right. Um, then painting. Is that painting? Writing. Nope. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay, how about let's add, like, a desk right here. Hopefully they can still walk around that. Uh, we'll do something like this. Seems to fit the at most fear. Uh, actually, that might be a little cramped, won't it? Um, what if I were to move this over here? Um, I, actually, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to just completely redo the living room, so that's what I'm going to do. And, um, I'll find that later, and then... I need to keep the karaoke machine, just as part of my moral compass. I'm going to keep the karaoke machine. So I'm actually going to move this over here and then i'll add a kind of shitty computer because <laughs> it's cheap and i am cheap and then we'll go ahead and add some a da, 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 la -de 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 -do. okay that put that there move that down because that's bothering me um see it's all you know outdoor furniture <laughs> It's almost like this was meant for the outdoors and not, you know, indoors. Okay, so I think we're actually all done now. Um, I got the photography, writing, and patio decor. This is basically what it is. I added that little vintage camera, as I said I would. Kind of wanted to move that back in the corner. Um, here's the other camera stuff. I kind of added in their TV area a little bit more. Um, replaced it all with patio furniture. And then here's their little writing nook. So it obviously, I mean, obviously looks really good. It, it Honestly, it does look really good. Um, I, definitely not my personal taste to add outdoor furniture inside, but doesn't look half bad. Actually, I'm going to move that carpet over. I did not realize how terrible that looked. That's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, I like it when it's touching the couch, but Whatever. Reveal renovated space. Where am I? Okay, I'm intersecting into all of my clients. That is how we start, you know? We are just such a personal business, you know? We love to be good old personal, you know? Uh, okay. Alright, perfect. We're going in. Wow! Look at this! Whoa! It's the exact same almost, but with some more things. Oh, and look at that. Oh, beautiful room! 
I kept all of your wall hangings too, so you're welcome. And look, there's a wreath. <laughs> That's what's different about that picture. But let's look at all of it, shall we? Um, okay, so, no. Alright. Uh, can I check this out? Check this out. It is broken. Check this out. That is patio. Check this out. That's patio. Check this out. That's camera. Uh, check this out. This ca That's camera. Writing. Um, check this out and check that out. Okay. We covered all their bases and hopefully they like all of them. And I just have to chat with my clients a little bit. Which is my least favorite part of this job. <laughs> Alright, as for their final verdict. And of course, Dalin Walsh has gotten that final verdict. So, let's ask him for it. We're done talking to Miko. <laughs> Time has passed, okay? Um, alright, what is this? Reading the room from some client reactions. Good, good, good. I'm glad you have a good sense about this. And they're crying, which is a good thing. <laughs> that is actually a good thing for the first time in forever. Despite my better judgment, apparently crying is a good thing. And awkward hugs, just like that one, are good things. Um, okay, so we did that. I'll just sit on your incredibly comfortable and outdoorish couch, and I'll wait for your verdict. Never mind, I'm gonna get right back up and ask for your final verdict. <laughs> right? He likes it, he likes it. Miko seems to be confused about something. She doesn't seem to like something. Uh, maybe it's the pile of this, and maybe it's the tissues, I don't know. Wait, no, don't check that out! <laughs> that has nothing to do with your interests, okay. Um, okay, you you've seen enough. You seen enough? I'm satisfied. Um, okay. Yes, no, maybe so. Alright. Do we get a little bit of a bonus? We also saved some of your money. I think that is extra. <laughs> okay, let's go out and go home. And then I'll get a gig for him. And then we'll take care of all our crops and such and sell them. Because basically, during cottage living, we focus only solely on cottage living and going to the store, selling, um, canning, that sort of thing. But here, we focus on gigs. And, of course, we kind of have to take care of the farmer, else it'll be in shambles in the next two days. So, let's go ahead and take care of our crappies and our animals -ies and our our honeys <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm great at rhyming guys yeah so a25 is the most so let's do the kitchen renovation for the hecking household tomorrow friday 9 a.m perfecto hennifer two is now a full grown rooster yes Poggers, dude. Okay, we're still taking care of the crops. Um, so essentially, he's stressed because he's like, I don't like this type of decor, even though I removed literally all of his decor pre preferences. And he is going to be become companions with good old honey, and then we're going to pet again, and then we are going to give bath. Because I don't know, it just she looks dirty. Then again, you know, of course, of course, her fur has like changed and such, but you know. All of that jazz. And, ooh, another gnome to sell. Yay! Um, we could easily keep that for decoration, but I don't feel like it, so we're gonna sell it. Alright, so we're just going and taking care of Bluebell and all the farm peoples. Um, and, yeah, so I'm basically gonna send them all to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. And hopefully we get a big old bonus for our gig. Alright, for... Well, I said I was gonna see you guys in the morning, but I kind of forgot about all this. So... What is our dun 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 dun? Okay. I'm making sure we're, I'm not selling anything that we're not supposed to. Okay, so far so good, and we don't want to sell all those. Nine hundred and fifty-seven. A little bit disappointing, but we'll go ahead and sell some of these, um, like couple three, and then as well with couple three here, and then a sell. You tiffious. Okay. Definitely not the outcome I was hoping, but that's okay. <laughs> Cause of course our, our main money maker, Zachary, will bring home the Balkan tomorrow, hopefully. So I will see you guys then. Another hatch. Okay, so we're all awake, obviously. And I'm just basically waiting for his gig, but there was an uh, egg ready to hatch. Let's hatch all the eggs. Um, let's have, you know, you, Zachary, do it. 
I also need to obviously feed my chickens, and I already collected other eggs. We got a big old two five from it. <laughs> Twenty five bucks, baby. Let's do it. I'm clean the shed. Hopefully, you'll be able to get it done before we go to work. Um. Oh. Oh. I'm not touch intolerant. Uh, why did I give him this trait? <laughs> Literally, why did I give him this trait? It is the most annoying trait and the most, like, that is the most boring trait that you could possibly give yours in. Like, oops, I'm lactose intolerant. That's my whole person, like, the whole, like, three slots that I have for my personality, lactose intolerant is one of them. Like, that is, uh, it, it was a mistake on my part. I just wanted to explore all the traits, but let's be honest. I don't really care if he's lactose intolerant or not. I just don't. <laughs> And then, like, we'll move in this episode, but I'll do a speed build, and then that next, like, it'll be a .5 episode like I've done in the past, and then the next episode will be, um, in our new house for the very first time. And I'm really going to prioritize the farm over our actual house for a while, so. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh my god, you. Alright, this is the Hecking household. I will show you guys their interests later. How many do we have in these slots? Alright, the usual. The huge. Alrighty, besties. This is a kitchen renovation, and they like island and suburban contempo decor, as well as gardening, which, of course, that always seems to happen in our kitchens, and painting. So, let's go ahead and just begin. We'll go and delete the light. I'll give them a nice, uh, one of those, and then we'll delete that. Delete that. I'm literally just completely stripping it because that's what I always do with these. It's just so, so much easier to be able to just strip it all um, and all that. So I'm going to keep the bowl there just so I don't forget because they do indeed have a dock. So they kind of need that. <laughs> um, and then we'll go and delete those. It really was a nice kitchen, so I don't know why they needed it renovated. But I kind of liked the fridge over here. Maybe, like, trash cans over here. Like, recycling. Like, sometimes I change this swatch to green. And then I keep the other one like this. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And then gardening. Is there a plant that it considers gardening? Yes. This one. So I'm going to keep it there. And then scoot these over. And then put that there. And then painting. Literally every single painting in the game. <laughs> counts as painting so this is going to be pretty generally simple so um you know what they like dogs so i'm going to put that there ain't that a nice touch and then i will actually keep the calendar right here um and then this kind of decor do we have anything having to do with the kitchen suburban contempo and island uh okay so styles suburban contempo and island decor okay there are no matching overhead counters for this counter. Oh my Jesus Chrysler. What? <sighs> do these match at all? They actually kind of do, so I'm going to go and use these. Um, that is possibly the most painful thing I've ever gone through. Oh my goodness gracious. And then I'm going to go and do an island um, and see what else I can add for like gardening. And then I'll add as many paintings as I possibly can. Okay, so we're all done here, y'all. Um, let me actually go and add a little bit of clutter right here because there's something missing right there, and I want to add some shoes. Hell yes. Um, so go and add those right by the back door. Change the swatch here. Okay, so here is the Kishan. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with the way this turned out. I don't know about those bar stools, but you know, I decided to go with something new. <laughs> and um, I actually am really happy with the way this turned out. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. So let's go ahead and take a after photo and then we'll go ahead and invite them back to lots. After, I said after, right? I didn't say before. <laughs> I hope I didn't, okay. And reveal renovations to clients. You are walking incredibly slowly for your arms moving so much. Okay, you literally came out of the place I was supposed to show you. Okay, I don't have a very good feeling about this because right now it's not working too well. Reveal renovations to clients. <sighs> Let's go and save. Oh my god, I hate... The only thing I hate about this pack is how unbearably broken it is but then again that's also what i hate about the sims in general so i can't say too much but not too happy with this right now okay 
Reveal! Renovations to client! Reveal! Reveal! Thank God! <laughs> oh my goodness! Alright, whatever. Ooh, boring kitchen, but vibrant kitchen now. Now it's done, so ch come check this out. This counts. Um, this is what you wanted. Here is this, here is this, here is this, and that is everything that you guys wanted. Um, and also this. I think I did that already. No, I didn't. Okay, so, suburban contempo and island. That's what our plan, our big old plan was. Alright, let's go and talk to Brant. Yes! I got his name right. That is awesome. It's a little sad that I can remember video game characters' names is better than actual people that I know in real life. <laughs> um, okay. So, ask client for their final verdict. Do you time or do Just wanted to let you know, even though we barely even know each other, but that's fine. Um, ask client for final verdict. So I'm basically just sitting here waiting for your praise and your extra money. I mean, I literally only spent 8000 of your 20000 I mean, I might have sold everything that you own, but like... That should give me some extra points, not to, like, say anything bad or anything, but, like, yeah, awkward hug time, that means it went well. Alright, check this, come check this out, guys, come on, like, look at these nice mint stools that I probably shouldn't have chosen, because they're low-key ugly. Like, look at how nice this place is. Can you please do your final verdict, because I really don't want to go to your pranked toilet. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to do this, because then you'll be like, you are being inappropriate, please stop, so you stop being inappropriate, and you come up with your final verdict, please. You know what? No. I'm going to shit in your toilet, just because you won't come up with your final verdict. I'm gonna do that. And it's gonna be nice and smelly for you. Of course, right? When I go in there, you're like, I'm ready to wrap this up. Of course. Um, that was pranked, of course. Yes. Uh, what was that? Gross toilet from pranked toilet. Okay. You're not even gonna wash your hands? Okay, you know what? Just don't touch me. <laughs> don't shake hands with me or hug me or anything, please. Because uh, I did not wash my hands. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, now I got my germs all over your back. Okay. <laughs> A little bit of extra moolah never hurt nobody, and apparently we got a little bit of a bonus, because maybe, possibly, we got promoted. So that went nicely, yes, promoted to Building Space Planner. We got an extra 765, and Patterns and Shapes Modern Rug. Perfect, okay, great. It's time, guys. It's time to move out of our lot. It's time. I'm going to bulldoze everything, even though all of our crops still haven't grown yet. I'm going to put everything in our inventory. <laughs> and, okay, so, backspace, 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 back, backspace, backspace, backspace. Um, I love how they say household item. Like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a living thing. <laughs> it is not an item, okay. But whatever, okay. And we'll also sell all the crops, because they put the plant and the um, unharvested crops in there, too, so... There's that. So we'll also get some extra money. You know what? I'm going to sell all of that later. We're going to sell this. Um, these things. Because I don't know where they came from. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Um, hatchable egg. We'll go and put that back in later. Uh, mushroom. Sell that sink for some reason that we have. Uh, sell this that for some reason that we have. And sell this. And everything else is crops and animals. So, we'll go ahead and put you in our inventory as well. Um, do we need anything from here? Because I don't really think I put anything sentimental in here. Because I knew it was going to be a disposable house. Okay. Great. So, let's go ahead and bulldoze paint and bulldoze lot. 40,000, baby! Okay. Let's go ahead and, um, I'll do all the selling of the crops off camera, so we'll have a little bit of extra money as well when we return, but let's go ahead and do, um, live mode. And so they're all like, where did our house go? Um, let's move households. Okay, so we were definitely going to go for the 30 by 40 lot right here, um, and we only really need to save up. We needed to save up 4,000. I mean, th 30,000. So, um, we actually 
yeah, I mean, we did pretty darn good. We overshot it even. We have almost 4,000 plus all those crops that I'm about to sell that will take me way too long. Um, I mean, it's great. It's wonderful. So let's go and move into our, our new place. And then, like I said, um, I'm just going to make a separate video for a speed build and all, all that jizzity jazz. Um, okay, great. Let's go ahead and place down our animals over here. Because <laughs> why not? Um, actually, I don't feel like building a fence right now, so I'm just going to place down my, my main girl, Bluebell. On specific objects. Come on, she's on a specific object. You know what? I'm just gonna delete that. <laughs> and we will build our greenhouse, our home, and a space for the chickens somewhere over here as well. Next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we will also be buying hopefully another chicken coop if we can, and um, and or another um, animal shed because I want a llama as well. So we're going to be doing that next episode as well as possibly if we have the moolah um, getting this baby room ready and having a baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Aqua Team today. And I'll see you in the next one. So long for now, my Aqua Team.